Hey guys, what is going on? This is Cardinal Bird 5 and today I have a special gameplay for you guys. I didn't record until after the lineup screen, but this guy had Pepe Alizar. Uh, he had the Molina. He had a pretty interesting lineup. He was starting Bob Feller, and we are starting Ron Guidry again. Uh, this time we're not home. I picked Griffith Park last time. Um, happened to just play here again. I thought it's kind of weird because I don't ever play at this park. Uh, I don't know what I think about it, though. It's really deep to left field. Uh, anyways, we fly out to left field. Uh, to Ken Griffey to begin the game with our created guy. And then Griffey comes up, uh, rolls over a slider here. With Bob Feller, you have to be really creative uh, with that slider since he doesn't have a changeup for lefties. So that was a good pitch by him. Now Trout comes up, works it to a full count. Pretty good wood on that, but we foul it off uh, very early on the curveball. And then 3-2 count again. 3-2 pitch from Feller. Again, we fouled off a trout. I, I need to, again, I'm just not hitting the greatest of trout. I'm working the count really well with them. I'm drilling walks. Um, I just, I don't know. I just need to hit better with them, I think. I think it's just me. And then 3-2 count, slider in on the hands, down and in. We lay off the pitch, though, and uh, we work another walk with trout. And then Bellinger comes up, hits one pretty hard to first base. Not sure what his first baseman was doing. Didn't even make a play on it, though. And trout goes first to third. So we might get a little two-out rally going on here in the first inning. And then Dawson comes up, and he just beans him. I don't, I don't think that was intentional. Uh, he was pretty wild beginning the game with Feller. And the next batter is going to be Fe is Ed Matthews with the bases loaded, two outs, full count, still working the count here. Saw 23 pitches in the first inning, and we go ahead and take that for a ball. And going to go ahead and uh, get on the board and go up one to nothing as Ed Matthews gets an RBI for his walk. And then Cal Ripken comes up, gets a fastball leg, drives it up the middle. That's going to be a two more runs scored, so two more ribbies for uh, Cal Ripken. And then Seager comes up, 0-1 count, get a fastball away, hit it really well, but it's going to be right at a center fielder. Uh, so we could have had you know a better inning there, a lot of walks early on. We only had a couple hits, but we do take a 3 to nothing lead. And again, we have Ron Guidry starting. Um, my opponent let off Pepe Alizar, and he kind of hits it off the pitcher. I'm seeing way too many hits off the pitcher recently. It's getting super annoying. And of course, you know, he's going to try to steal Alizar, and we actually are able to throw him out with our critted guy behind the plate. Probably just got lucky there. And he's he's got the Mauer, the new Mauer. And we go ahead and strike him out. Now, guys, this isn't my updated team. I recorded this maybe, uh, I think, a week ago. So this isn't my updated team. Um, I'm also going to have a uh, another gameplay probably coming to you. Maybe today. I might do two today uh, with the new Reyes and Mauer. Uh, anyways, we get out of the inning, give him the foul out to Bellinger. And the next batter Kenny Powers rips one to center field and <laughs> I have never seen a catch like that ever I don't I like there is no way he's gonna catch that it looked glitchy I'm not sure if on it on his end if it looked better or not but that was probably the most insane catch I've ever seen on this game let me know if you guys seen a crazier catch because I don't I don't think I've seen anything like that in the game I just really really good catch by my opponent there uh, he's not gonna catch this one unfortunately Griffey hits one into the street so we go up four to nothing but man that catch was absolutely Absolutely insane. Um, anyways, next half of the inning, Ron Guidry gets another foul. I was just mixing up my pitches of Guidry. You know, kind of throw in up, down, in and out. Just trying to mix up my pitches best I can. And we throw a slider in on his hands. And Doss is going to ground out to Matthews over there. Uh, never mind, he actually ran it out. Matthews didn't have the arm. Brooks Robinson might have made that play. But I decided to go ahead and start Matthews this game at third. And then... Uh, he's got the belt as well. This guy had a pretty good team, but he's going to fly out to deep left. But I was just challenging his righty to see if he could turn on it because it's pretty hard to hit it uh, out of the park there. The next batter, Ed Matthews, he kind of jammed here. Nothing really happening this inning, and that's just going to be a weak fly out to end the inning. So we're still at 4 to nothing, uh, cruising right along into the third inning. And in the next inning, he has Alizar coming up. Uh, we try to work a slider in on the hands there. Uh... What, if you guys have Gidry, what do you guys think of him? I think he's solid. He kind of reminds me of like a Kershaw, or I know some people are saying Oliver Perez, as Alizar grounds up to first base. I think he's solid. I don't know if he's... He's definitely probably not top five. Maybe top ten. I don't know. Uh, I do like his per nines and his, his, you know, his pitch variation and his uh, pitch repertoire. But I don't know. I think he's really similar to Kershaw. I kind of like him, though, because he has that extra pitch, uh, which is a two-seamer, I guess, which doesn't make a huge difference. Uh, anyways, next inning, uh, we drew a walk with Feller, got him over to second on a wild pitch, but Kenny Powers flew out to center field. After the first inning, this game kind of slowed down. We drew some walks, had a little uh, rally there in the first inning, and uh, had some things go our way. 
there for a few innings though you know we were hitting some decent getting some decent wood on them on the ball but it was right at his players and just really had nothing going he, he started to pitch better as well as control got better the next inning though we see we get in a little bit of a trouble we, a leadoff hit and then we hit his created guy um, the slider is one thing that's really hard to control with Gidry you throw it in on the hands uh, I don't know his slider supposedly has like 99 break and there it is right there we do strike out Griffey with it it's just I don't know it just doesn't seem to have like that really really sharp break um, but it, it, he's a good pitcher. I don't know. I don't know if I'll use him all year, but I might as well. I figured I might as well try him out since I pretty much, you know, got him for free doing the program. Uh, anyways, we made our opponent chase a, a high fastball there as he flew out to left field. As you can see, he's also playing at Eddie Murray. He had a really unique lineup. I haven't seen anything like this in a while. And we missed our we missed our pitch location here, but it ended up working out as he flew out to left field. I mean, you can challenge righties in this ballpark because it's really hard to hit it out. And you can see the next inning, Griffey wants another home run, but you can see it's just going to go foul. Uh, early timing on that. And we have it to a full count. I mean, we worked Feller pretty well. With the lefties, he's pretty easy to hit. It's pretty much just fastball slider. No one's really going to throw you too many curveballs. And I don't. I think he was just like an unintentional, intentional walk there. Uh, Trout came up. And I had good timing on this thing. Get the PCI on it. Uh, and we're going to fly out to his Griffey in left field. So... And a lot of people are going to start getting Pepe. I've seen him a few times already. Um, I'm personally not going to go for him. just don't really have an interest in him. Uh, let me know if you guys are going to go for him or if you're going to exchange him. I think I've asked this a few times. I just really have no interest in going for him. Uh, anyways, we take another walk there with Dawson. So, I mean, we, we took a lot of walks this game. And then Matthews came up. Rips one of the gap. So we're finally going to get a, uh, some insurance runs. And that's going to be two ribbies for Matthews as he gets a stand-up double. And we're going to go up 6 to nothing. I mean, I really didn't have too many hits, but the ones I did were extra base hits or runners in scoring position. And then Cal comes up and uh, hits a weak fly out to center field. But we're up 6 to nothing. Uh, we only have four hits. Again, we're drawing a lot of walks this game. Uh, opponent really hasn't done too much offensively yet, but I still have to be careful. I don't want to push Gidry too much. You can see we threw a slider up and in here. It's just trying to get a little creative. Um... You know, I don't, I don't really know how to use a slider if I want to use it more down in the zone as an off-speed pitch or kind of jam as hitters. I think you can kind of use it as both because it can be thrown 86 to 87. So I think that's fast enough to jam hitters when they're not expecting it. But it also can be fast enough to, uh, or slow enough to strike them out if they have a really quick bat. Anyways, we get him Jackie Robinson to ground out to second. He decides to go ahead and pull uh, Bob Feller for the Ralph Kiner. Um, yeah, really interesting lineup. I, didn't, I personally haven't, didn't use Ralph Kiner. I sold him immediately. And uh, he ripped a double down the line with Kiner. So he's going to try to get a two-out rally. Actually, he stays at one there. Good play by our Mike Trout. So it's only going to be a single. But nonetheless, he still has Alizar coming up, and that's never any, that's never good news. Uh, we threw a hanging slider down the middle. That tied him up. Uh, sometimes that can really fool good hitters when you throw a pitch almost down the middle. So we get out of the inning, escape the inning with no harm done. Still got the shutout going. And then Kenny Powers comes up again. Uh, I thought I hit that pretty well, but Pepe gets him again, makes the play. Not as good as last time, but still makes the play. And then Gidry comes up, throws a splitter down and away. You kind of use that splitter as a changeup. Um, it's a pretty good pitch. I like the splitter. I like his two seam away uh, from righties as well. It can be a good pitch to roll over your opponent as long as they have a quick bat. And then right here, uh, this is his creative guy. We get him to fly out to right field to Andre Dawson out there. So we're pretty much, I don't know, Gidry's not really a strikeout pitcher, only if it's really lefties. Um, he's kind of a pitch to contact guy. And he makes good wood here with Ken Griffey Jr., lefty and lefty. Uh, but we're able to uh, make the play there with Ed Matthews, so some tough luck for our opponent. In the next inning, we get Griffey to come up, uh, lefty on lefty. I think he had in he had in Rivero, and then he brought he uses bullpen a lot, and then he brought in Gagne, and uh, we were on that pitch kind of decent with Trout, but it's going to be a uh, ground out to shortstop. So uh, nothing crazy going on. He decides to go ahead and go to Chapman, um, and still in the seventh inning, and he's already used like you know three of his guys in the pen. Bellinger kind of swings, swings over this a little bit, and that's going to do it for the inning. We still only have four hits, but we have a 6 to nothing lead. Uh, Dawson came up next inning, worked the 3-1 count. Kind of missed our spot. We didn't really, I don't know, lately I have not been pitching well. Um, recently I made a change back to strike zone pitching because I've been a little more accurate through that. So we get it back to a full count. He fouled off a splitter there. You can see he has good timing on it. Uh, we're going to try to go with a slider down and see if we can kind of jam him again. And we missed our spots. It was a good pitch. We missed our spot, but it ended up being a good pitch. But he checked swung and hold us, and he was able to hold his swing up. Uh, and then Murray came up, Eddie Murray, and he kind of had like a weak line out to second. 
then Beltre came up. Uh, he got his runner all the way over to third by two pass balls, I guess you could call it. And he's going to score a run because of that. So that's unfortunate, but not a big deal since we're up 6 to nothing at this point. And then we just challenged Jackie Robinson here, and uh, he's not able to turn on it. So we still got a 6-1 to one lead, feeling pretty comfortable. At this point, I want to try to get a complete game shutout with, with Gidry if I can. Uh, he started to bring in Darren O'Day here. Um, Dawson rips one in the gap. I thought maybe he could make a play on it, but it's gonna that's hit slow enough to where we can get a triple for Dawson. So that's a good start to the inning. We're going to be able to get that run back if we can just get a sack fly. Um, and then he brought in the Wagner. He was just going to his bullpen, and he was, he was going all out this game. And I really don't see too many people use that Astros Wagner. Uh, but Matthews drives this deep enough to... Uh, left center field to go ahead and bring the run in. Uh, Pepe made it a close play though. Look at that. That was a really close play for how deep that was. Um, I could have timed it a little bit better, but I wanted to make sure you know I didn't run too early there. And then Cal came up and lined out to shortstop off the Wagner. Um, I don't really like this Wagner. I liked him a lot last year because of his changeup this year. I'm not a huge fan of him. And then he hit Seager. Not sure why. Or maybe yeah, that was that was Seager. Maybe it was just to get to my pitcher, and I decided to go ahead and leave him in because I want to go for that complete game. I um, don't really know why. Just I try to get complete games and try to conserve my bullpen energy if possible, and also trying to go for those missions, uh, statistics, career, my career missions. Uh, anyways, next inning, uh, we get him to fly out to left field. So we're still still rolling here with Gidry. His pitch count is getting up there, though. It's at 91. And then Alzar comes up. Doesn't hit it great, but it's going to uh, find a hole up the middle, and that's never good news when... Pepe Alizar gets on, man, with that 99 speed, 99 stilling. It's really ridiculous. Uh, then Molina comes up. Pepe got the second. Not even going to show it. And Molina came up, uh, tied him up there with a splitter, and then his creative player. I'm not sure why he had Molina batting. Oh, it's because he put Molina in for Maurer, which is interesting. I, th I might consider doing that, but I don't I don't really think Maurer is worth platooning. I don't know. Maybe later down the road I'll get to Molina. Uh, we get him to an 0-2 count, though, and we throw another high fastball. Kind of quick pitched him a little bit. And uh, he didn't hit it too well. And this is going to be a uh, fly out to right center field. Dawson takes it. So moving on to the ninth, he brought in Jansen. Um, he left a pitch over the middle of the plate here. And look how deep left field is. It's ridiculous. Um, I was hoping this would not bounce over because that would have been a triple. He tried to make another amazing play out there. Um, fortunately, he did not. So we're able to get a, a double with one out. And then Trout comes up, rips a single up the middle. And that's going to be an RBI for Trout. So we get another insurance run. And trust me, I'll take them when I can get them. 7-1. to one. I mean, we're hitting really well with runners in scoring position this game. And then Bellinger comes up. Hits it pretty well. This time it's first baseman. Eddie Murray makes the play. And we hit into a tough luck uh, line out double play ball there. So next inning, I'm going to try to get the complete game of Gidry. Uh, I left a pitch over the middle of the plate. Not a good pitch. Even lefty on lefty, it makes it easy to hit. And he does just that. He hits it back up the middle with Griffey. Dawson comes up. Uh, we throw a fastball in on the hands. He's unable to turn on it. So this is going to be an easy play again for Dawson. So all we need is two more outs to get this complete game. We'll see if we can do it. Uh, next batter, uh, Eddie Murray coming up. I've had his number all game. This time he takes the slider down and away, uh, rips it into the gap, and Griffey's going to go first to third here. Uh, we're just going to hit our cutoff, keep Murray at first, so we can still have the double play in order. And then at that time I decided to go ahead and just take him out, and this would have been an ending, a game-ending double play, but again it hit the pitcher. So, I don't know. I guess I got unlucky there, but at least my pitcher recovered and made the out. So, we're one out away. It's 8-2 to two at this point. Um, Jackie Robinson gets a uh, single to just go through under the glove of Seager, and he went ahead and took second because of it. He got really aggressive here at the end. Honestly, he was pretty aggressive the whole game. He was trying to steal a lot. Uh, and then this is, um, I think it's Kenny Lofton. He rips a single up the middle. That's going to be two more runs. We just need one more out. Come on, just one more out. He made it an 8-4. to four game at this point just getting some singles to go through uh, the infielders gloves and then Pepe comes up we decided to go ahead and bring in Gagne I think we threw a splitter or Vulcan change down and in here and uh, some top spin there from Pepe but we're going to go ahead and make the final play to end the game a uh, good game to my opponent we go ahead and take it eight to four he out hit us but like I said we had a lot of more walks um, so yeah that's going to do it guys expect to see a gameplay uh, with a new Alex Reyes and the Maurer coming up anyways guys appreciate you watching the video this is Carnover 5 signing out peace